Echo, hey, Venom made a lot of money. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and this is our season three premiere. Uh, and I figured since we ended the last season with the first weekend box office results of Venom in China, I figured why not start season three with the second weekend box office results? So that's what we're going to do today. And I hope you enjoyed my little intro with my dog Echo. I was telling my roommate after we got last week's China numbers, where it was like 111 million or somewhere around there for opening weekend, uh, how I just felt like oh, I just want to hold my dog up like Lion King style in celebration. I don't know. It was like the first thing that was like popping in my head and my roommate started laughing he goes dude you need to do that so hopefully you guys enjoyed that because uh, that's honestly how I felt I was like oh my goodness and then when I saw the second weekend results it made me just I was like all right I got to do that I got to get echo in this video and of course he wasn't too happy about it um, but I think uh, hopefully it came out pretty funny uh, but so what we're gonna talk about today and we're gonna start the season off you know right we're gonna talk about the amount of money that Venom is making I mean this is a movie that we've all kind of been rooting for since the first season when we were doing this show a year ago and uh and you know we weren't sure you know that first trailer came out there's a lot of negativity around that and uh, the masses started to pile against this movie in a lot of ways or a lot of the masses i should say uh the masses are the ones who went and supported this movie and made the movie all this money uh what happened is that there's like this you know a uh, group of you know reviewers and critics out there that were just anti this movie and even fans and youtubers uh you know were just anti this movie and when they saw that first trailer they made up their mind they were like you know what i'm not going to give this a second chance i hate it didn't have any venom in it you know didn't have anything in it uh they didn't you know like the tone it was setting and they were immediately against this movie and they were trying to be loud as they could to prevent this movie from making money because they were like hey we're the critics we have the power we're youtubers we have the power they have the ego for sure and they're like we're going to spread so much hate about this and this movie is going to be dead on arrival and oh my god i'm so happy that they were wrong and i kept telling you guys ever since we started i wasn't sure about the movie at first and then as we got into the season the first season i started to turn around and was like all right i'm exploring the character again i'm seeing that you can actually tell a venom movie without spider-man and everyone out there was like no you can't you need spider-man you need spider-man and clearly you don't need spider-man with the amount of money that this movie has made um it is the most profitable spider-man type movie for Sony. Um, you know, it, it's only cost $100 million to make. I say only. Obviously, that's a ton of money. Uh, but compared to Spider-Man films, it's a lower budget than all Spider-Man films uh, for most part. I think the first one might have been like $120 million or $150 million. I can't remember what the original Spider-Man budget was. Um, but either way, uh, you know, this has accumulated more money and made more money. And so uh, that's crazy. It's so crazy. I was always hoping this movie would do good or decent, but I never thought that it would actually get near a billion dollars. Uh, that is insane because this week at the China box office for its second weekend, it made like another 51 or $52 million, somewhere around there. Uh, I'm, I'm going off Variety's website here. And the reason I don't know the exact number, I think I remember it on Twitter being like around 51 or 52 million. Uh, and that brings it to a 55% drop from its first weekend so it's had staying power it has legs i mean uh, uh, i think fantastic beast came out this weekend in china and that made like around 36 million but venom still beat it it's still number one at the chinese box office because we thought that this movie was going to drop big time in china and it isn't it's still dropped 55 percent, which is on par with most superhero movies um around the world when they drop for their second weekend it's usually around the 50 to you know 55 to 60 percent range and once again 55 percent, just like it did here domestically from its first to second weekend so that brings its total like along with that 50 million plus what it made during the week up to 87 million because the variety is reporting it made 87 million during its second weekend and i don't believe that's true at all i think it was just the weekend was like 50 something million and then throughout the week it made like another 30 or so million so uh, i think 87 million here that they're reporting is just the accumulation of the entire week because box office mojo doesn't update uh, for you know foreign audiences or foreign foreign box office sometimes until like the end of the week they don't like do a ton of daily updates uh, there so I think that's where maybe variety maybe made the mistake uh, but that brings its total in 10 days in China to 187 million dollars and we'll click over to box office mojo here and uh, you'll see that domestically Venom's 
total domestic take so far is 210 million and i think that's pretty much where it's going to be it might make a couple more million between now and, and it's you know when they take it out of the theaters but i think they'll take it out of the theaters you know pretty soon probably let it ride until like early december and then they'll probably pull it before all the big movies like aquaman and uh the once upon a deadpool and spider verse once all those start coming out uh and bumblebee they'll probably pull venom at the theater from the theater at that time so it could still make like another five million dollars or so a couple million dollars uh but overall it's going to probably sit around that 210 million dollar marker and then uh, foreign wise now with the new chinese uh you know box office pull from this past weekend it's a uh, 570 million dollars uh which is oh my goodness like that's insane and that's on par with the average superhero movie where it does like you know a couple hundred million here domestically and then it makes a, a ton of movie overseas so venom is literally no different than most superhero movies that came out and that is news and shocking to all of us even i think those of us who are rooting for this movie i don't think we could have anticipated this uh, to this level. So it makes its worldwide total as of today $780 million. So that means if the next weekend, even if Venom drops like, you know, 70% or something like that and only makes like $15 million uh, throughout the week, it'll still make money in China. And so it'll definitely go over that $800 million marker and it might land somewhere uh, when all is said and done around the eight hundred between $800 and $850 million. I think some people were predicting it could go to $900. I don't know if it'll get that high, uh, but to know that it'll get around $850 million is insanely awesome. I mean, that is incredible for this movie to make that close to a billion dollars. And then once you get DVD and Blu-ray sales in and people will rent it, I mean, word of mouth on this for audiences were really good. And even though critics like bashed it and tried with all their power uh, to, you know, to try to slow the flow down of this movie making any money or making any impact, uh, they failed miserably. And it shows just how powerless they actually are because if people are interested in stuff, which this movie had, we talked about it leading up to the movie, even though the, the first trailer or the teaser wasn't well received by a lot of people it was still viewed a lot of times and then the second trailer and third trailer had millions and millions of views 64 million views 70 million views they were getting up there and you know overpowering movies like wonder woman and justice league and you know and, and those are big brand names too but it just shows you that venom Venom is a household name. He is as big, if not bigger in some respects, than Spider-Man himself. So no, Venom does not need Spider-Man to tell a story. We learned that early on when doing this show. We, you know, I kind of was convinced by rereading the comics and seeing what makes the character tick. And I realized you don't need Spider-Man at all tell Venom's story and it looks like the world has embraced that and I know that doesn't you know just because it made a ton of money doesn't speak to the quality of the movie a lot of us have different opinions of it I myself even gave the movie a 7 out of 10 so I know it's not a perfect movie by any means uh, but what I hope is that Sony now that they've made that money we finally get to see Carnage on the big screen and also I hope they learn from some of the things they got wrong in this movie and just make the next one better and that's all we can hope for and I think with you know Woody Harrelson playing Carnage I think they got a great cast they got a great villain and I I hope they do it really well. So I imagine that they're going to announce that sequel very, very soon because this is just insane. They're probably too busy having a party right now uh, and celebrating and making it rain uh, money all over themselves. But once they get through that period, uh, we'll probably hear about the sequel very soon. So let me know what you guys think. I am so blown away by this. I'm so happy for this movie. It's the little engine that could and it went through every obstacle, every gauntlet that it could, and it still came out on top financially, which means we are definitely going to get more Venom, which is what we all wanted, so I'm so happy about that. So let me know what you think down in the comments below, and we'll continue the conversation down there. Thanks for joining us for Season 3. We have a lot of fun stuff coming up, so make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any of it. See you in the future. Peace.